How's it going, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Gcast. And uh, this is just something really urgent and something really important that I wanted to post right now. And that's the Tomorrowland incident that just happened. So, if for those of you who don't know and for those of you who haven't heard, Tomorrowland 2017 was in full swing in Brazil. And uh, out of the blue, there was a fire. There was a huge fire, as a matter of fact, in 2003. 22,143 people had to be evacuated. Now, I'll give you a little bit more details right now. Eyewitnesses claimed that the stage exploded and there were a lot of sparks that were dripping down from the top of the vents. And uh, the inferno was later extinguished. Tomorrowland United Festival was in full swing on Saturday evening when the left hand side of the stage went up in flames. The Director General of Civil Protection of the Cantanoia tweeted that 22,143 people have been evacuated successfully from the event and no injuries had been sustained so far. It is not yet known what the cause of the fire was and the local media has reported that it appeared that it was somewhat related to the pyrotechnics that went wrong and it was quickly brought under control avoiding further damage to go off to the rest of the stages that were interconnected to each other. Because for those of you who don't know about music festivals, how this goes is there is an entire sequence of pyrotechnics that is connected from one end to the other end. If it's a huge stage, that entire connection is either urinatal or it is displaced behind major components of the stage that need to, like major attractions, like a huge design of some sort or something. So one part of the left hand of the stage apparently caught on fire and uh, it was quickly sustained, avoiding further damage to any of the pyrotechnics and uh, therefore it was quickly brought under control the event was shut down immediately people were evacuated and uh, there were no injuries reported so far and that is brilliant on the part of Tomorrowland if you go to say uh, for those of you interested about what were the DJs that were on the lineup Steve Oki was due to perform on the stage at the event and uh, the outpost of the Tomorrowland electronic music festival usually takes place in Belgium but it was shifted and uh, well I hope that these guys don't take this as a wrong message to the people of Brazil so festival goes posted dramatic videos all over social media you guys can check it out it's all over Facebook it's all over YouTube and it's getting out there um, it was sustained pretty well so there's not much that the fake news or the drama channels can pick up on and spread it like wildfire as they usually do so it's all good and uh, very good crowd management on the part of the management community of Tomorrowland and being a DJ and a music producer I've been to a lot of festivals and uh, when you get to see such teamwork come into play when so many lives are at stake it really makes you appreciate what you're being a part of and makes you understand that such big numbers usually come out only when there's a huge casualty and to understand that these were the number of lives that were saved without any casualties without any injuries that is huge the lineup of the event also for those of you who are interested in know had DJs in Grosso as well as Afrojack who was scheduled to play there but uh, as this entire incident has taken place as of now the stage has been shut down, the fire is out, the local authorities managed to extinguish the fire and brought the entire situation under control. People have been successfully evacuated from the area. The area is currently completely shut off and people are in the other sections of the entire grounds. Apart from that, authorities are investigating this in full swing to determine what the actual cause of the entire fire was. Now I'm gonna look up, I'm gonna link together a lot of images as you guys can see right now that the fire was really, really tall. It engulfed the entire stage as a whole and uh, got pretty scary. For those who were right in the forefront of the entire concert, from enjoying the entire musical vibe, it went to dangerously life threatening. So, very commendable to the people to not riot. 
and to not panic and just rush it was very controlled and hats off to Tomorrowland for handling it like the professionals that they usually are and keeping up the name of the festival for what it's known for being the best music festival in the world and apart from that <clears throat> this is this was the update guys I want to bring it to you real quick this is going to be a part of the quickie series so don't be shocked when you see the King G quickies in the front it's all good and I wanted to bring you this update real quick because Tomorrowland holds a very special place in my heart and when I heard this it was like okay I need to acknowledge it so there it is my two takes everything's all good Tomorrowland handle it like champs and I'd love to perform at Tomorrowland one day and until next time we'll see you guys real soon take care stay G